Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So if you saw my last video where I covered all of the different contents that came with the new Elec HF bundle, then you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm gonna go through how you connect it up and how you set up the software. I'm gonna go through a few different SDR software applications because each one of them is slightly different. I will need to show you how to configure it so that you can use the hammer up up converter which is used if you want to receive anything between 100 kilohertz and 25 megahertz okay so let me just quickly show you how you connect this all together so the RF input here this is where the antenna goes so for this what I'm going to do is use the ballon because I'm going to be showing you how to use HF so what I'll do is I will attach this cable here I then have the ballon here and I've got two pieces of wire which are roughly around two meters long each. So what we can do is with this we can push one end in here, that's nice and secure so you've got uh, one piece of wire here and then I've got a, another piece of wire here which is about similar length to the other one I'm just going to push that in there make sure there's no sort of uh, fraying wires so they don't touch each other now I'm going to hang this up in, uh, in my office here uh, in a kind of V shape just in the room itself so it's not even going to be going outside uh, and that's how we're going to be testing it. So that's the connection. That's that's how we've got it connected to the antenna side. Now the IF output side is where we're going to connect the SDR receiver itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little adapter. I'm going to screw that on here. Like so. And then I'll use one of these extension cables which will just plug to here and the other end I'm going to plug into my PC. Please note that you will need to install some drivers if you haven't already for this. I'll cover you how to install those drivers first of all. So let's go ahead and go over to the Windows desktop and I'll show you how to get the drivers installed. So the first thing we need to do is actually get our driver installed for our SDR receiver. Now this is a very common driver installation application called Zadig or Zadig, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. The website that you need to go to is zadig.akeo.ie. I will leave a link down in the description below. So let's go ahead and download this version. So it's downloaded, show in folder. Once it's downloaded, you need to right mouse click and select run as administrator. Okay, so now it's running, we can close down these other windows. So with the Nuelec Smart SDR receiver already connected to your USB port, you need to go ahead and click on options. And then you need to select list all devices. Now, once this is selected, you'll be able to go to this particular dropdown and choose your device. Here we have the RTL 2838 which is the device which we want to connect to. It should be pretty obvious. If it doesn't actually show you the one that you need then you're probably going to be looking for something called bulk in interface zero. We know that we don't have to use that because we already have RTL 2838 here. What we now need to do is make sure that when USB is selected as you can see you can go through the different options but we're looking for win usb it may say here replace driver reinstall driver there may be a couple of different options but i'm actually just going to click reinstall driver the driver was successfully installed click close and that is it you can now come out of that application so we're now going to go ahead and open up SDR Sharp. Now if you want to use this with the up converter, the uh, hammer up, you need to obviously make sure that the ham it up is in up convert mode and you need to come over to this section here where it says radio. If you look here you've got a shift. Now you need to enable the shift and make sure you have this value here which is minus 125 megahertz. This is because the conversion 
that the hammer up is doing it's actually putting it to a higher frequency so we need to make sure that our SDR software is actually showing the correct frequency if that doesn't make sense don't worry about it just go ahead and put in minus 125.000000 in the shift and make sure it's enabled what we can now do is go ahead and make sure that we have the right device selected from the source here make sure you've got RTL USB selected you can click on the configure source button if you need to make sure that you have the right device selected obviously I've only got one connected so this is the one I'm going to be using the sample rate I would normally stick anything stick it around between 2.048 2.56 depends on how good your computer is I'll leave it at 2.56 for the moment everything else you can leave the same as what you can see here offset tuning is turned off RTL AGC is turned on and tuner AGC is turned on click close you're now ready to click the play button so let's click start and let's see if it connects 76, thank you for you for your call. 73, happy new year, bye bye. This is Echo Alpha 9, Alpha Bravo Charlie, clear that. Tango Mic Radio. Tango Romeo X ray. Many stations of revelation. Only echo, kilo, echo, please. So another popular application which is used for SDR is called Cubic SDR and this is also free and it runs on multiple different platforms. As we're going to be using this to work with the up converter we also need to put an offset in here as well. When you first start Cubic SDR you're going to be presented with the currently connected devices you can see here I've actually got a few I've got a microphone etc. So we want to make sure that we select the RTL2832 device. It'll always be named something like that. So once selected on the right hand side here, we have got some options. Now, the setting that we're going to be looking at is offset. Now, as before, in the Sharp SDR software, we needed to put it at minus 125 megahertz. So this is exactly what we need to do here. The sample rate is similar to what we had before. Uh, you can choose anything. You can choose any of these, but if you've got a fairly decent computer, then you can choose, choose anything between around 2.048 up to maybe even 3.2 megs. But uh, I'm going to leave it at 2.56. The rest of the information here, you don't really need to worry about. So all we need to do now is click the start button. So as you can see here, we've actually selected a radio station. Uh, I quite like Cubic STR. Um, it's very easy to use and you don't really have to think about too much. It's uh, pretty much all there in front of your face. And I like all the different graphs and uh, information that's presented to you. I find it a quite a nice, clean UI. Okay, so there we go. That is how you connect up ham it up and a new elec sdr up to a couple of different software packages and how you configure the software packages if you need to use the hammer up for hf receiving if you've got any questions about this video or if you've got any other software packages that you'd like me to cover on how to set up with an sdr receiver such as this new elec receiver then please get in touch take care and we'll see you in the next one